Hume will play the ball, that was Wood. And here's Danny Brock, a lovely chink in the step up the middle. He's got Wardle in support. And Wardle goes over for the first time stride. The mistake at one end, bouncing off the shoulder of Jimmy Kynehurst. And Huddersfield swoop, they get the first try of the match. And Wardle, well, he's been a revelation in the second row. This is his third game in a row there, filling in for the injured Brett Ferris. Fifth try of the campaign for Wardle. Went for the power play, should have been the kick. Not the best from Jimmy Kindhorst, but to be fair, it was going behind him. And from this position, oh, that's in and out in a step. Left Brett Delaney for dead. The support play. This is the one thing that you'll see different from Joe Wardle. Normally plays out on the centres, but with him having to play in the second row, he has a positional sense to go right down the middle. Enjoyed it, you bet. Delight for Wardle, delight for the Huddersfield Giants. From Liam Sutcliffe, play on, play on. playing by Briley. And there's Cameron Smith, the number 28, is the brother of Daniel Smith. Played his junior up bit at Lock Lane, and he's got a lot to offer the game, Cameron Smith. He's a real star of the future. Yeah, Daniel Smith's on the books here as well, yes, isn't he? Yes, he is. It could have, been a... could have been against each other. Yeah. Three moves, I'm sure Jamie. we'll see that match up a time Paul. or two. Paul go. There he is, Cameron Smith, and of course, uh, Luke Briscoe on the, the flank tonight. He's been in the wilderness, really, injuries and everything else. Been at Hunslet. But he's uh, earned his chance, and Barry Eaton, the assistant coach of the Rhino, says he deserves it. Aaron Murphy, Aaron Murphy has got Ormsby outside him, goes inside Sutcliffe, gets away from Watkins, finds Bruff, he then finds Akuma Tai. Cameron Smith sticks to the task of bringing down Cameron, uh, down Akuma Tai, and does so. Brilliant rugby, wasn't it? Jermaine McGill was started on the right wing, they got it over to the left and they're heading back that way now. Wood, brilliantly picked up off the ground, that was Connor. last night Eddie and I'm sure some Leeds Rhinos fans watching this may think they saw a pass that went slightly forward I know it doesn't matter and Omar Gilbert gets his 11th of the season and more importantly brings Huddersfield level with a kick to go but it's his break that set up that piece of play on the left of the left hand side of the field that Phil Clark so admired he is a handful running with the ball one of the biggest weapons this Huddersfield giant side have more importantly it's him that scored Brooke playing the ball left, but when they go back to the other side of the field, of course, Brooke will be the fulcrum. There's some great hands in here. Jay Connor to Kudjo, and that's the pass that there may be a question mark against. Referee didn't think so, that's all that matters. Over goes McGilvery. He outsmarts three defenders, Jermaine McGilvery. He's one of my favourite players, I love. Jenna, will he be happy in the next couple of minutes as Leeds here with Gale and then Louis? But that's a poor pass there from Robert Louis, and it's picked up there by McIntosh. Can he go all the way down on McIntosh for a sensational hat-trick? I don't think they're going to stop the young winger. What a try from young Donald McIntosh. He hasn't scored for a year. He scored a hat-trick today, and Huddersfield are taking a firm grip on this game. Are they going to the summit of Super League? Well, he showed a clean pair of heels then, didn't he, Dino McIntosh? Some poor execution in the passes from the Leeds Rhinos. Created a try for that man. The ball bounces on the, the ground, it bounces straight up into his hands, and as soon as he gets in his hands, you knew straight away that that was it. He was going to be scoring underneath the sticks. Ash Hanley and Luke Briscoe tried everything, but it just wasn't to be. Luke Gale gives it to Robert Louis, and then Robert Louis doesn't find Richie Myler, doesn't find Luke Briscoe, but what it does find is that man, Darnell McIntosh. Just look at him. Big, powerful athlete. Knows exactly what he's doing. He pulls and he makes the right decision to come in and he spots that space and he doesn't pressure himself as soon as he picks that up he knows that he's going to score nice finish as well from the winger 
a happy coach, some happy fans. And you feel as well that McIntosh had, had speed to burn, but he also had plenty in the tank if he needed it.